This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Friday, September 8th, 2017. Euro dollar. So the euro continues to extend its run of impressive declines, breaking up to another plus two and a half year high, trading above the previous 2017 high at 2071. This breakout confirms a higher low now in place at 118.24, opening the door for the next measured move extension, projecting gains potentially up to the 23.15 to 23.20 area. At the same time, it is worth noting that weekly studies are back into some pretty overbought territory, which does suggest that this market could see a more significant reversal going forward. Sterling dollar. So cable is traded up into some key internal resistance with the market breaking above or high in that internal resistance that comes in from the 18th of July at 31.26 about. But we'll see how the market can hold up today. If we see the market unable to close above 31.25, then it will keep the pressure potentially or to put the pressure back on the downside. Uh, strengthening the possibility for more choppy range trade. If, however, the market closes above 31.25, it could open a more immediate retest of the 2017 high at 132.70. Dollar yen. Dollar yen has come down quite a bit to test the 108 barrier, but has yet to been able to break below it. At this point, though, it looks like the market could establish below that 108 barrier with a breakdown to open potentially significant downside price action towards the 102 barrier. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the market responds to 108 on Friday. A close below 108 could open the door for a major downside extension, while inability to close below 108 will suggest that the market is still thinking about this based on this range trade that we've seen for much of this year and potentially a reversal back towards the 114 to 115 area. Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss has been confined to a consolidation over the past several weeks, although the consolidation is a bullish consolidation and ultimately the market is favored for that next break beyond the 2017 high around 115.40 and towards the 120 level further up. At this point, any setbacks that we do see should be very well supported into previous resistance turn support at 112. Aussie dollar. So Aussie has raced up to a fresh 2017 high, taking out that previous peak that was seen back in late July at 8066, and suggesting that the market could be poised for the next major upside extension, which would target a move towards the 8250 area. At this point, we would need to see a breakdown back below the low that was seen in Thursday trade at around 79.75 to take the immediate pressure off the top side. Dollar CAD. Dollar CAD continues with this nasty decline that we've seen over the past several months. The market has now broken down and continued to extend to fresh 2017 and plus two year lows this week, extending towards this major psychological barrier at 120. At this point, we would need to see a break and close back above 2240 to take the immediate pressure off the downside. Kiwi dollar. The New Zealand dollar has seen a nice bounce out from recent lows at 71.32, though overall it looks like this market has turned lower since topping out at 75.58 back in late July. Look for internal resistance around the 74 handle to cap gains in favor of a lower top and fresh downside extension back below 71.32, exposing a retest of the 2016 lows down in the 68s. SPX 500. The S&P 500 has been content to consolidate recent uh, gains after rallying out from 2417 and the market is trying to decide whether it wants to resume this record run beyond 2491 or if it's looking to carve out some form of a top ahead of a major breakdown and structural shift. Right now the key levels to watch above and below are 2491, that record high that was seen back on the 8th of August and below 2417, that key low that was seen on the 21st of August. Gold. So gold continues with its surge with the market now closing in on a retest of the 2016 peak at 1375. At this point, studies are starting to look a little extended, so we could see the market top out around that level in favor of some form of a correction or consolidation. But the structure is clearly highly constructive right now, and any setbacks ultimately should be very well supported into that previous resistance turn support in the 1300 area in favor of significant upside over the coming weeks and months.